morning everybody so today is sunday the 31st i'm just waking up um kind of like tired today but today i'm just gonna do a what i ate today um for my relaxed day my veg day i call it um as a breastfeeding mom who is trying to actually lose weight so today's not just gonna be like a normal what i eat in a day like it's just gonna be like now what i'm doing to lose weight and um just get on the healthier path um while breastfeeding so right now it's like 11 i am about to change the baby and feed him and try to get me some water and i have this water tracking app which i'll show you guys it's pretty cool um i'm gonna <laughs> hey honey um yeah so here we go peanut sure life is good life is sure have some cookies have some cookies <laughs> look how big my chunk of monk is getting my chunky baby love it i'm gonna change this little diaper i'm gonna get this bottle oh you're just rolling look at you just rolling where are you going where are you trying to go baby using the tommy tippy bottles um i love the nipple because it is like easy for me to breastfeed and bottle feed the baby um so right now i'm gonna get his bottle ready um he takes about five four to five ounces now um he is i wish these were in glass i'm on the hunt to see if they have these in glass i hate plastic um but right now this is what works for us so I gotta do what I gotta do. So, so yeah, I'm going to make him a bottle, and while we sit and let his bottle thicken because he's on a special formula, um, we are going to nurse him. <coughs> I literally, absolutely love the smile that my son gives me when he is nursing or when he's about to like latch. It's so darn cute. Like I love it gonna have some granola cereal but I'm still feeling very salmon ish so I'm gonna have some of these gluten free rice uh, crackers Doo -doo 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 -doo. some sprouts and then I'm gonna finish the rest of this salmon here but I'm going to also have some of this and then I'm gonna have one of these for a drink actually I changed my mind I, I kind of want some cider but I'm gonna add some stuff to my drink what I'm gonna be putting in my drink actually not this so I am doing pescatarian so and I realized like the other yesterday I believe yeah yesterday that I'm like oh my god this is you know meat derived from animals cows obviously um so because i'm doing pescatarian i needed more of a marine collagen so this is the one that i got this brand does have a marine collagen but for some reason it was very hard to come by and then i just was not feeling waiting like three days for it to come in um because i really need the collagen right now so i tried the vitamin shops brand which they're always pretty um good i have to look at um the difference in serving sizes to get what I need for the day but that's gonna go into my drink and then I'm gonna do a couple squirts of MCT oil and then this is my yummy plate of food no I'm y'all get I see you oogling my food this is my food I'm gonna count all these calories in and this is pretty much what I'm eating for lunch today earlier this morning I just had a couple of mixed nuts and that was it so this is my first meal of the day at I would say 12 12 in the afternoon only has 10 grams of protein I want to get a little bit more serving size is two scoops so I think I'm going to do maybe uh, you know I'll do two scoops now maybe two scoops later on with whatever drink that I have um, so I can at least get uh, 20 grams of protein from this for today but yep so yummy I love sprouts everybody should be eating sprouts everyone sprouts are so good for you 
And these are really, really, really crunchy. And if anyone who is gluten free, y'all enjoy these. They're salty. Yeah. They're not too salty. It's really, really good. So peanut is fussy. I am right now making them a bottle, but this is what I'm having in my one of my waters. Um, I am gonna get more than this down, but like I like the taste of this when there's less water. So this is for my lactation. I am mixing up peanut a bottle. Still pumping in between nursing, but right now I have uh, a few things that I gotta do. So I'm just gonna get a bottle. And then I'm gonna fold up my laundry. Well, fold up his laundry. But yeah, this is what I'm having. And then um, when I'm done nursing him and he's content, I'm gonna make myself a super greens smoothie with some oat milk. And uh, yeah. So peanut is on my arm, but I was trying to explain that drink. Like this one is the punch by Milky Mama. These. The watermelon and the punch are my favorite <clears throat> but you don't want like if you put it in a full bottle of water it doesn't it tastes fine it just tastes watery like you don't get the full flavor potential if, if you put it in like a big bottle of water so I fill it to about that halfway so I can really taste it I love the watermelon one because that tastes like Jolly Ranchers um but I just suck down a can of this which is a uh, sparkling water coconut pineapple by good and gather it's okay this is the part that's hard about feeding him this formula is waiting you have to wait and he's so fussy and i'm trying to get this down i know i'm so sorry baby's laundry all folded This is what I'm having for snack. Some avocados, having some soft boiled eggs with some everything bagel season on in it. To like trying to really focus on a lots and lots of protein. Um, I have these banana, like I wanted something sweet, so I have these little banana things that I'm gonna try. This is what it looks like: white chocolate, cinnamon, granola crunch. Um, so I'm trying to like replace my like cravings or something that's better so the serving size is three but i'm having two pieces and then i have my smoothie here which i'm going to add some um hemp hearts to it and that will be like i guess my snack for the day before dinner yummy yummy cleaned the plate off but I did not eat any of the avocados so this is the reason why these were from frozen I usually keep like frozen avocados in there for smoothies and stuff but I always keep like a little bit of frozen fruits and vegetables oh mommy's coming but um these defrosted to eat on its own no if you're gonna have some avocados just for a snack eat them fresh and these here are really good so if you're looking for something to kind of like tackle your little sweet tooth craving I only had two of these um, but the serving size is three these are really really good they come in dark chocolate as well and milk chocolate but this one's my favorite so far so I have my fish cooking here for dinner I'm cooking both of them um, and I'm going to just um, I'm eating one of them and then the other one's just kind of to snack on throughout the next few days or something for lunch tomorrow who knows yet but right now I'm just searing it. Um, I put a little bit of salt, a little bit of um, dried lime on there. And then I'm gonna take it out and make like um, a butter wine sauce. Maybe like a garlic butter wine sauce to go with it. Um, not 100% sure yet, but I'm going to try out this new butter that I've seen that's vegan, um, a plant, plant base butter but yeah this is going on right now this is the butter i'm going to try to Hi. cook with 
um, cashew and coconut oil spread. The cashew butters are yummy to me because they always are just so creamy. So we shall see how this works. Dinner, dinner. Here is my last snack of the day. I am having some cranberry almond maple granola. Um, and then I am going to rim this with some crunchy peanut butter. Yep, and that is going to be my snack for the end of the day. Um, if I am hungry, um, because breastfeeding usually makes you very hungry, very thirsty, um, I will just have some eggs later. But yep, this is what I'm having for my midnight last meal, I guess you should say, of the day. So yummy. Hi everybody, I forgot to film the ending of my video um, of what I ate in a day as a breastfeeding mom who was trying to lose weight. Um, just the day gets, gets, gets you when you're tired. Um, so, as you guys know, I am breastfeeding. Um, what prompted all of this is just, was not happy with my postpartum appointment. Um, I know that I just had a baby almost three months ago. Um, my baby will be three months and a couple of days. And I know I have to give myself grace. I just had a baby. But, um, I was just very uncomfortable. And the one thing that I have learned that I did not know because... With my twins, I've struggled very much to breastfeed. Um, I barely produced anything, so it's just different this time around because um, although my son does get supplemented, I am nursing and pumping um, a lot, and I'm producing more than I ever had with my twins. So with that being said, my body just, I am starving all the time. I'm hungry all the time, thirsty all the time, but more hungrier than ever, like, I will take pregnancy hunger over post uh, breastfeeding hunger any day, but at the same time, I am very blessed to be able to be nursing and breastfeeding my son as much as I am. But with that being said, I'm just trying to do better options and give myself better options, and I am trying to nourish my body in a better way where I can get in the calories and nutrients that I need without eating crazy junk food and going insane. Um, I am at my highest weight ever that I've ever been, um, and that is even before weight loss surgery. I am past what my weight loss beginning surgery weight was, and that makes me very upset. <laughs> I think I did mention this in my beginning video of my first ever vlog um, on this channel, but at the same time, again, I just had a baby. Um, I did gain the pretty much same amount of weight that I did with my twins, shockingly. Um, my body and, and mainly my stomach and my thighs are, are where I gain the most weight. And obviously that's where you're holding the most. <laughs> and, um, when you're pregnant, like your baby is on your hips and your stomach, you know, um, and I'm just uncomfortable. I am all for loving the skin that you're in. I'm all, I'm always for plus size body positivity and loving yourself. But I also want to promote healthiness at um, being a plus size woman, you have to be healthy and I do not feel healthy and nor am I healthy. I am back pre-diabetic. Um, I am not diabetic, but I am pre-diabetic, which is a big no-no for me. Um, I have to get healthy. I have three children now. Um, again, your body does go wacko when you, um, are pregnant and have a baby. Um, but I am not bouncing back like I did with my twins. I dropped all the weight. Uh, and got back down to pre-pregnancy weight with my twins like almost a whole month in um, but again I was like 27 when I had them I am now 30 years old and my body is changing it's different and the more children you have of course your body is just different now so I'm going to be doing more of these to encourage other mothers who are nursing and breastfeeding and just in general just had a baby you know um you want to nourish your body you're healing and you have to heal yourself inside and outside and that's what I'm working on um, so I'm going to now that he's sleeping um, I had things that I had to give him I had to give him his supplements and his medicine but 
I will probably give that to him and at the next feeding. So this mama is going to put her little peanut down and get, uh, I do have to pump and get myself showered and ready to go to sleep. But probably by the time I pump and shower, he'll be awake <laughs> for his next feeding. So um, for that, I just kind of have to be get myself ready. So that way, as soon as I'm done feeding him and nursing him, um, I can get myself some sleep until... It is, what, 8 o'clock now? Um, he'll probably be hungry at 11, so. Oh, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any um, questions or anything, please leave it down in the comments below. I do read my comments. I don't get many, or if any at all, but what I, when I do, I love to comment. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!